Hey, what's going on everybody? Rodney Samuels here again with another video about credit. For those of you who are new to my channel, I not only make videos about credit, credit building, I have videos on real estate, real estate investing, particularly wholesaling. I also have videos on helping you buy a car because I was a car salesman in the business and I know the ins and outs of the car business. But this video is gonna be about credit. And I'm going to give you some tips to help you build your credit up. All right. There are five factors that impact your credit score. I'm going to briefly go over those. And then I'm going to tell you a couple of things that you can do to actually increase your credit score. Give your score a little bit of a boost quickly. OK. But firstly, I want to go into what are the five factors that impact your credit, because that ties into the second half of the video with the credit, credit boosting tips. All right, so please subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up and leave any comments down below that you might have. And um, let's get into it. So as you can see up on the screen right here, what you have is a chart that shows exactly what factors are making up your credit. Take a look at the one that's 30%, credit utilization. That is the one that we're going to touch on in this video. But each factor that you see up on the screen is very important. I can go into other videos about the other factors, but look at the 30%, the 30 and the 35% Util utilization and payment history. We're going to talk about utilization. Credit utilization is the factor which shows how much of the available credit that you have you're using. Okay. So let's say you have, one credit card and the credit card is a thousand dollar limit okay you have a thousand dollar limit on your credit card and you have a five hundred dollar balance so your credit utilization is fifty percent okay so this factors across all of your open credit on your credit report all of your revolving credit okay if you have ten thousand dollars worth of credit available to you your credit utilization is going to be based off of that $10,000. Okay. In order to keep your score in the most pristine condition, along with the other factors, you want to keep that credit utilization down under 30%. You really want to be at 10% or lower. If you want to play with the big boys, you want to keep that credit utilization low. All right. So the reason why I say that is because when you're looking to get credit, it's funny because the banks and the credit card companies look at that. And if they see that you have a very low credit utilization, you have a lot of credit available, but you're not using it. That's a good sign to them. You don't look like too much of a risk. Okay. So high credit limits and you're not using it a lot. That looks good to the banks. They like to give money to people who don't need it. All right. That'll help boost your score. Okay. So now I'm going to jump into a couple of ways that you can use credit utilization to, to give you a quick boost in your credit. One way you've probably heard this before is by getting an authorized user, getting yourself added to someone's credit card as an authorized user. You have to find someone with good credit history or at least a credit card that they've had for a long time with a decent credit limit, a high credit limit. Uh, you want a couple thousand or better. Okay. Good credit limit and excellent payment history and low credit utilization. OK, you have to find somebody that you trust and that they trust you. They will call up their credit card company, add you on as an authorized user. And what will happen is their credit history from that credit card, all their payment history and the age of the credit card all automatically gets put onto your credit report, which should give your score a quick boost. All right. But you have to make sure that the credit card is a good credit card. You don't want to get added onto someone's credit card who's maxed out. All right. Who has a credit card with a thousand dollar limit and they're at like nine hundred ninety five dollars. You want high credit limit, low credit utilization and excellent payment history. No missed payments because all those payment histories, all those payments are going to go onto your credit report. OK, now I'm going to put you onto a company that you can use to give yourself a quick boost. They'll give you five thousand dollars worth of credit revolving credit and it's very easy to get 
It's a jewelry store, an online jewelry store called My Jewelers Club. All you have to do is go to that website. I'll put a link in the description of this video. You go to that website and you order some jewelry on there. And they'll automatically give you $5,000 worth of revolving credit that will report to all three credit bureaus. Now, you don't want to use this credit. You don't want to actually go on there and start shopping and buy up a whole bunch of credit. You just want to use it, buy something, get it to report on your credit, and then buy something every month to show good payment history on it. Just keep the credit utilization low. Okay? What I did was I actually have an account with them, a $5,000 limit. Now, the stuff that you're going to find on this My Jewelers Club, it's not the best quality jewelry and stuff like that. They have jewelry, watches, things like that. They're overpriced, but that's not the point. I believe this company put this website up and this company, they established this company just to help people boost their credit. That's why I did it. I wanted more, better credit utilization on my credit report. I actually just ordered something here. Right here, I ordered this. Casio watch, okay, I got from, I overpaid for it. Everything on the website is, is, it costs too much, but that's not the point. You just want to get on there and have them report. This just came in the mail for me today. All right, so go to that website, get yourself a line of credit with them, $5,000. That's a big deal for anyone who's probably watching this video, okay? So if you thought this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and, um, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.